everybody and welcome back to W12 Universe. I'm your host Jitch and you're watching Tuesday Night ECW Presentation. Coming to you from that undisclosed location that we always come to you from. We, we don't really know where we are every week. We're just there. The we just gotta believe it. Well, Ezekiel Jackson gets an opportunity here tonight to join the big show and join Brodus Clay in forming the five-man match that is the ECW Championship Scramble at WrestleMania 2. Right now, Jack Swagger set to defend the championship against the hardcore champion, the former, ch well, the current champion, the champion's trophy holder, the big show, former ECW champion himself, finally getting a rematch at WrestleMania, and Jack Swagger's right-hand man, Brodus Clay, getting a shot at Swagger's ECW Championship. This all comes after last week when Mr. McMahon was relieved of his duties as the general manager of ECW due to being an unfit representative for the brand after he seemingly was uh, making decisions that didn't benefit the brand, rather that benefited his own agendas. comes the Bang Bang Man, Mick Foley, Ezekiel Jackson, and Mick Foley set to go one-on-one -on -one here tonight to kick off ECW. A very unusual matchup, absolutely. But, uh, uh, uh. but the winner will join the championship scramble match, making four participants confirmed. And in our main event, we will confirm the fifth and final participant in the championship scramble match when Cody Rhodes faces Goldust, Husky Harris, and Kane in a fatal four-way first fall to the finish. Winner is the fifth participant in the um, championship scramble match. Kane given another chance as I believe... No, Sin Cara was the only other guy that would be given another chance. And uh, the decision was made not to give him a second chance due to his current win-loss record. Here on ECW, we have recently lost Arn Anderson from the ECW brand, unfortunately. Uh, so we are now down another member. It'll be interesting to see in the coming weeks if any other stars are cut from the ECW roster. But admittedly, Art Addison was not cut. He decided to leave. Jackson with a big suplex there. The absolute powerhouse that he is. Last year, ja Ezekiel Jackson walked in to WrestleMania 1, the ECW champion, and defended the championship successfully. So uh, that could be history repeating itself at WrestleMania 2. We shall wait and see. Of course, the championship not recognized as a world championship back then. Nowadays, the stakes even higher. You could be considered an equal to that of Brock Lesnar and John Cena. And the massive Ezekiel Jackson counters it. Maybe I'm just full of the yawns today, and I don't know why. They are hitting me hard. It's probably because I downed, um, like, 80% of an energy drink I had left over from yesterday. Because I barely drank it yesterday. And it's probably the fact that I drank that, like... Probably at least, you know, six hours ago I probably finished that. That's, that's probably a big contributing factor on whilst, why I'm getting so fatigued feeling now. It's just, it's, you know, I've had my rush, I've had my run, I've had my day, and now I'm, I'm winding down a little bit. I do normally go to bed at about 7pm because of my job. Uh, I work pretty late shift. I don't have, obviously, that's why I'm recording. I don't have work tomorrow. But um, it is, it is half three right now. So to be fair, there is only about three hours left of my day. If all goes according to plan in that sense. You're not fast enough. Watch out here! Ah! Like 
Foley on the comeback here as he sends Jackson into the corner. And then does nothing, naturally. Talk about planting your opponent. He drops the elbow. <laughs> oh, God. Ura, ura, ura. Did you hear that? Echoing throughout the arena. McFoley taking the fight to the outside. The man said he believed he could get a shot at the ECW title at WrestleMania. Well, this is it. This is his chance. If he doesn't win this match, well, he's going to have to go for the hardcore title if he wants a shot at the at being at WrestleMania at all. Speaking of which, uh, let's find out who the winning vote is for the hardcore championship since I have admittedly not looked into that yet. I'm really self-conscious of the words. I am pointing out that you can really hear me breathing, and now I'm like really trying my hardest not to breathe heavily, but I fidget a lot, as you probably heard from the chair. I'm really bad at sitting still. Jackson. Jackson. I think it would be this most recent episode of ECW, where we got some votes, because the hardcore title is on the line in the next match. But I don't actually think I've got anyone currently set up for it. Um Look at the pressure. You can see it in his face. The agony. Sinkara. Ray's not going for it. He's he's preoccupied right now. Sinkara. I mean, you guys back then, you were still voting for someone to challenge Gold Dust. You guys don't even know Big Show's the Hardcore Champion yet. So at the moment, we're just getting a load of Sin Cara votes. Husky Harris. He's already in the main event. Uh, Zack Ryder is injured at the moment. Evan Bourne is the light heavyweight champion. Right, okay, so uh, Sin, Sin Cara versus The Big Show is our Hardcore Championship match next. Let's use that as the reason why he's not involved in the second chance match as well, shall we? Of a concussion. Oh yeah! And there are the ropes. And you're in the ropes. Jackson gonna go for a side suplex on the Foley man. I don't think so. Kicks his leg right out of his leg. Mick Foley turning Jackson around. Neck breaker. And a big old knee. A high knee. He thinks he has it. Is this going to be enough to get the job? No! No, no it's not. Jackson. Jackson. He does it again. <sighs> I'm so sorry. Uh -oh. this is bad. I don't mean to yawn so much. I'm crashing. Oh, I'm crashing. I don't have any more, like, big caffeine things I could drink right now. Make Foley into the cover. I really don't feel like it's healthy to rely too heavily on caffeine anyway, so... You know, I don't, I don't, I don't drink energy drinks that much anymore. Only on the odd occasion. Mostly when I'm working. I don't really need one whilst I'm at home. I don't, I don't know what I'd need to pick me up for. Ezekiel Jackson with that incredible strength. This one continues, and Raw rolls on. From the ring, this is about the time they go to a commercial. <laughs> the fight goes to the outside, we go to commercial. That's the rules. Good thing this isn't a commercial break ridden show. Ezekiel Jackson. Ooh, there it is. Finish him. Wait a minute. 
What is Swagger doing out here? ECW champion? An ally of Ezekiel Jackson's. I would think. I mean, he didn't distract the referee, admittedly. Foley looking for the double arm DDT. Got him. Finish a move from Mick Foley. Jack Swagger back and forth on the outside. And it looks like he's going to try and play the distraction game. Jack Swagger trying to screw Mick Foley. Trying to help Ezekiel Jackson, I guess in his mind. If Jackson and Brodus are both in the championship scramble, then Swagger's ECW championship is protected. He's got two guys to back him up. It'll probably just be a three-on-two match in his head. But Jackson seems out cold. The double arm DDT seems to have completely knocked the guy out. Ezekiel Jackson is still covered. Jack Swagger out of frustrations kicked from ringside. Referee now finally going to pay attention to the pinfall, still going. And Mick Foley, despite Swagger's efforts, is going to WrestleMania with an ECW Championship opportunity. That double arm DDT clearly just knocked Jackson out. So there you go, the groundwork is almost complete now. Jack Swagger defends the championship against Mick Foley, Big Show, Brodus Clay. And one more participant to come in our main event. But up next, Big Show defends the Hardcore Championship against Sin Cara. As we await the next matchup, I've been told that there is something going on backstage. Randy Orton? Randy Orton attacking the, the big... What is Randy doing on ECW? He doesn't belong on this show. I turn. Not today. Randy Orton going for the Big Show backstage. What the hell is this for? Got no business with the Big Show. These guys have never crossed paths before, in my knowledge. Got the arm up. Not today. Not today. Maybe tomorrow. My turn. My turn. <laughs> oh, so corny. Big Show getting attacked by Randy Orton. I mean, I feel like I know what this is about. This is about WrestleMania. This is about the Hardcore Championship. Randy Orton realizing the Hardcore Championship can be defended anywhere at any time has decided that he is going to go for that Hardcore Championship. He's going to come here to ECW. As you know, it's a cross-brand championship. And Randy has clearly decided to set his sights on the title. Since by winning the Hardcore Championship, Randy Orton would then be in contention for the... I mean, he'd, he'd be on his way to a WrestleMania match. I get it. <coughs> Big Show getting busted up all around the arena. I've been told that uh, th this, this does actually count. As a championship defense, the rules of a championship defense backstage is basically, uh, it's like a last man standing situation. If you knock your opponent out, you can you can just grab the title and leave. You're the champion. Oh man, how is he still on his feet? Randy is just taking this one all over the place. Ooh. The that into his face? How many this times is, is Big Show gonna get smashed into things? Not today. Make sure you sound like he's gonna sweep, sweep, sweep. Is he Cody? <laughs> oh, wow. Oh. Andy Orton. Just laying into the big show. What is it? What are you looking to do? Yeah, oh my. Oh my god! That's gotta be it. 
I mean, yeah, Randy Orton, w w the graphic says it, new champion. T has just taken Big Show's Hardcore Championship. And what better way to do it than to smash a guy through a window? I didn't even, I didn't even know that we had windows back there. <laughs> Randy Orton laying waste a Big Show. I just don't know why he'd come to ECW other than to try and get on WrestleMania. Wow. Well, Cody Rhodes may be dressed in gold tonight, but whether or not that means he's actually going to be the the man to get that final spot in the championship scramble match is to be seen. Cody Rhodes competing in this one. Looking to become contender for the ECW Championship for the first time in his career. Never had a World Championship opportunity before. Could turn that around tonight. Husky Harris competing in this four-way matchup. Same opportunity, same rules apply. Never gotten an ECW Championship opportunity, never competed for a world championship. A big, big opportunity for him here tonight. Defeated Cody Rhodes a few weeks back on ECW. Momentum definitely in his favor. Who is gonna join Brodus Clay, Big Show, Mick Foley, and the champion himself, Jack Swagger? What an episode of ECW we've had. Mick Foley qualifying, Randy Orton attacking and taking Big Show's hardcore championship backstage, and now the ground about to be finished that championship scramble match. Hold that next week there will be a tag team match here on ECW. Brodus Clay going to team up with Jack Swagger to face off against Big Show and Mick Foley. Show's got to somehow recover and forget about the Hardcore Championship right now because there are bigger things on the horizon for him. There is potentially becoming a two-time ECW World Champion. <clears throat> well, that's clearly a fan favorite here on ECW. Who can blame him? He's great. First fall of the finish in this four-way matchup, but falls do count anywhere, so this match could could become very hectic to try and keep up with. But one man who was definitely due a second chance is this guy right here. Last week he was given the hurdle of overcoming the big show to qualify for the ECB Championship match. And naturally, even if he wins here tonight, it means he's got to go up against the big show at... WrestleMania in that championship scramble match and that in itself is a tough challenge still presented in front of Kane uh, to try and overcome again but he is up for that challenge he is ready to face off against the Big Show at WrestleMania if he can defeat these three in a four-way match here tonight and on paper I've got to say the odds are definitely in the favor of Kane when you talk about win-loss records as of late I gotta give it the gold dust the former hardcore champion has definitely done everything in my opinion to deserve this ECW championship opportunity. Husky Harris and Cody Rhodes, I still didn't have a ways to go, but they could end up being a pretty big underdog in that ECW championship match. Here we go. Four corners, four stars. One winner will walk away with an ECW Championship opportunity and complete the Championship Scramble match 
set to take place in four weeks time at Wrestlemania been told that Wrestlemania's a hardcore championship match will be an all important battle royal pinfall submission only elimination process stars from all three brands welcome just to get your favorites on the show at Wrestlemania Gold Dust Cody Rhodes with a big drop kick there. It's going to be a really hard one for me to keep up with because I really don't know where to look in these matches. I say this could uh, this could very much go anywhere. This could end at any given point. <coughs> yeah, I didn't do that thing I said I was going to do where I was going to use Gold Dust's uh, gold code to to kind of give everyone a better gold. I didn't do it. I'll be honest with you. I didn't do it. Oh, right over the knee. But you know the Hall of Famer is proud of his son's ability. Looking forward to smack down this Friday or another WWE Championship title defense. On the road to WrestleMania, John Cena being made to go through all the hurdles to make sure that man is ready to defend the championship at WrestleMania. Last week, defeating The Rock in a fantastic SmackDown main event. This week, he's got to defeat the former champion, The Miz, who has been told he will not be getting a shot at the title at WrestleMania unless he can, of course, win the championship back before WrestleMania. Invoking his rematch ball immediately, The Miz will be facing off against John Cena this Friday on SmackDown. What a big way to close out the week. Another World Championship period. There ain't nothing. There ain't nothing like a McDonald's Coke. They really are just different. The way they taste when they come from one of these cups. So good. You gotta love <coughs> that McDonald. What? He does? In three minutes. Are you sure? I guess. An underdog outcome was possible. Husky Harris is the one set to go to WrestleMania with an ECW championship shot. I, I didn't even see what happened that came so quick. But he made someone tap out and he gets a huge opportunity at WrestleMania for the ECW World Championship. Jack Swagger is uh, surrounded by some very large contenders when it comes to the ECW Championship. My god, that match was shorter than the entrances. It's nuts. What a short-lived episode of ECW. I don't I don't really know how that just happened, but it did. I'll see you on SmackDown. <laughs>